So that's it. Welcome, welcome everyone. Um, so contrary to what you may see, my name is not EDM2021. I'm Francois Boucher and with my co-general chair, uh, Gilles Genvi, we are happy to have you here today for this opening ceremony of EDM2021. So let's start this session with a reality check. Maybe some of you were there a year ago when at the closing ceremony of EDM 2020, I re we revealed that slide. And unfortunately, as Jake, Anna, Cristobal and Violeta last year, the chairs of EDM 2020, the, we had to deal with the difficult reality of the world we live in today. And uh, maybe some of you have noticed the multiple attempts that we made to try to keep on holding part of EDM on site in Paris. But uh, unfortunately, the numbers just weren't there in the end to have an hybrid event where people could be able to enjoy both on-site and online uh, for all the aspects of the conference. So despite this attempt to have an hybrid conference, we, we want to thank all of you and maybe some of you are here today who tried to register to be on-site. Like we are very sorry that we had to, we had to cancel the on-site event. And thank you for supporting us in our efforts for that. So maybe maybe the first hybrid EDM will be next year, but not this year, unfortunately. So does it mean that there won't be any Paris for you this year? Well, for the most part, yes. But you will see later in this talk that in the closing and in the closing ceremony, um, and stay tuned for that, we still have some surprises for you that we will try to give you a, a, a taste of Paris and a taste of France that we hope you will enjoy despite be everything being online. But yes, in the meantime, EDM 2021 will unfortunately mostly, but not only be on Zoom. And now for the next part, I will give the baguette to my co-chair, Gilles Jean. Okay, thank you very much uh, for the baguette. Uh, so, so today we are really pleased to have uh, more than 370 plus participants from around the globe. And uh, so we, first of all, we would like to thank uh, all sponsors. So can you please move to the next slide? Yes. So thanks to these uh, many sponsors, we could uh, provide a 50% uh, discount re registration to students and have a really low price uh, virtual conference. And also, like this, uh, help us uh, make an exciting event. Um, we also uh, thank the thank all the chairs who helped us um, put the conference together. And by the way, today uh, at um, uh, three thirty-five, we'll have um, a sponsor talk from uh, the direction mm -hmm. for education. Okay. Uh, so, so yeah, thank you for all the chairs, and I will give back the baguette to François. Thank you, Gilles Jean. So yes, uh, that's a lot of thanks, but there are a lot, pe lot of people who made this conference happen, so it's, I think it's important to acknowledge them. So first of all, without them, there would be no review of paper, no scientific orientation, no schedule, absolutely nothing. So thank you so much for the massive amount of work that they put this year to make it all happen to Sharon and Sherry. Was here. Here with with us today. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the conference. Hello. Thank you so much for your submissions. Yeah. And thank you for all other chairs to help us uh, for this uh, fantastic event workshop uh, already happened yesterday. Uh, thank you, uh, Thomas and Sweet, and uh, also industry, uh, industry Track and Doctoral Consortium. Yes. Thank you, thank, everyone. Thank, yes, thank to all of you. Um, and to the general chairs. <laughs> thanks. We, we didn't include ourselves. We didn't think we should auto-congratulate that much. So, so yes, <laughs> thanks to Thomas and Sweet who made because I hope that most of you were attending to the sixth grade workshop that we had yesterday. Uh, even if we do the opening ceremony today, the conference started with the workshop yesterday. And thank you very much to the two of them to, for coordinating everything. Uh, so the industry track, we know that we are in a scientific community, but we, we already have a lot of 
link with the industry to be able to make an impact. So it's very important for us to have industrial partner who are also present to the conference. And this year it was Jora and Nikki who made it as this happen. There will be two industrial sessions on Thursday and Friday. Uh, then we also want to thank uh, Min and Gotham because the scientific community dies if there is no new PhD students that come regularly to irrigate it. So the doctoral consortium is really a great way for students to get feedback from more senior members of the community. So thank you. Thank you very much to the two of them. Uh, this year, there will be again four students that will have a chance to have excellent guidance in their research work. And by the way, I just want to make clear that the doctoral consor consortium, which happens on Thursday, is open to everyone. So even if you're not a PhD student or not a senior member of the community, please attend. There are really interesting things. There. To continue with thanking our chair, um, Maybe some of you are aware that uh, there is a, a journal in our community that is called JDM. And sometimes it may have happened to you that when you publish in a journal, you're happy because you have a lot of space to put your results. But at the same time, there is a little bit of frustration because you just send a paper and you don't have a direct contact with people. So that's why there is this, uh, I don't know if we can call it tradition at this point, but for a few years, there has been this idea in, uh, at EDM to have to give the possibility to JDM authors of paper of last year to present their work also at EDM. And we will have again, thanks to Amal and Olga, a session this year with JDM paper, which will be, I think, on Thursday, tomorrow. Then a big part of scientific conference are also the, the, the poster session. And this year we will have two of them, one tonight, um, later today, and one on Friday morning. Uh, with over 40 posters overall that will be presented. So we will tell you a bit more in a few minutes of how and where you will get to see these posters. But the selection work that was behind would not have happened without Ange and Hassan. So very, thank you very much to both of them for this coordination. Uh, then maybe some of you today have co the paper, I assume a few people in the audience have, and you, so you may have heard from them already if something was wrong with the format of your paper that you have to send back, and they are the one who gave you page number to cite your work in the future, so big thanks to Fatima and Eric, who helped in this tedious but mandatory work of compiling the proceedings for us. Um, then a little bit earlier, you saw that we had a lot of sponsors this year. Uh, Gilgen uh, told you that we were lucky to have eight sponsors, and in reality, there is no luck in there. That's really the, the intense work, uh, networking work of a man, Benoit Chauvin, who reached out to many companies to, to have this support. So let's thank him really for the work he did this year to have so many sponsors. It's really great. And finally, to finish with our, our chair, we have. Uh, Without them, maybe you wouldn't even know that the conference is happening today, so you wouldn't be here. Uh, they have done a great work relaying on Twitter and on the website all the key information that we were sending to them. And so thank you very much to Hoshbu and Paul, and Paul for, the, for the work that they did in communicating. And speaking of communication, um, I, if some of you are on Twitter and you haven't followed already the EDMConf 2021 account, please do so. And if you do any tweet about the content of the conference, anything that you find fun that you want to share with others to make them re regret not to be at EDM this year, and maybe have them join us next year, please use the hashtag EDMConf 2021 as well. And now I will give back the baguette to Gilgen. So thank you for, to all reviewers for your work, because otherwise we couldn't uh, pro provide um, a, such a great conference for the quality, uh, for the quality of the work. And uh, we, we hope to reduce uh, the number of reviews uh, uh, in the future. And uh, stay tuned, because uh, there will be uh, outstanding reviewers announced at the closing session. So um, I just want to say a few words about uh, the tool, the platform we will use uh, during the EDM 2021. So basically, Zoom will be uh, for all the plenary talks, the sessions, uh, a panel that is on uh, Thursday evening, and even a crepe party on Friday. Um, and the, the Get the Town will be more for chatting and for all the coffee breaks, and also the, we'll hold the poster session. So I just want to uh, show uh, a few things uh, really quickly. So which is basically what, what is pick up. So this is um, basically what we will use to ask questions. Um, so you can uh, just, um, uh, whenever you are on the page on, of an article, you can uh, just uh, ask questions or upvote questions so that they will be um, shared with everyone. We will do the test at the end of this opening session if there is time. 
and so that uh, you can still ask um, um, so, 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 so that you can still ask a few questions uh, whenever uh, you want to leave a message, for example, during a poster session. And to talk about the poster session, so uh, don't, here is the gather term that we will use. So as you can see, there will be a concert today. Okay. And um, I just want to show you, so basically like uh, you, you can have a, an avatar, you can connect this from the end of this uh, opening session. And for the poster session, for each poster, you will have, of course, the poster with the presenter in front of it, and also some kind of um, page that can let you uh, get the video of the of uh, the, the paper and access to the research article. And also, you can uh, leave a message, which is the speak up I, I told you about, so that you can leave a, a message to Postopify. We will give the exact um, poster map for the poster session by uh, tonight, and we strongly encourage you to um, to stay uh, as much time as possible while not missing any session, of course. So, okay, uh, Francois, you I can let you. Yes, so I think we should be back to the screen. Do you see the slides? Yes. Yes. Okay. So hopefully if what uh, Georgiana has just presented you was clear and uh, you didn't get lost, but if it happens and that you, because we are in a virtual conference after all, so you cannot just like follow the crowd after a session. You cannot wait for an organizer to find you if you are wandering helplessly in a corridor or something. But it's really important to make for us to make sure that we have a direct channel of communication with you. Uh, so for that, you, I think many of you have already received some announcement from Uva. If you don't have Uva, normally you're receiving uh, by email the announcement. Um, and so if you don't have Uva, we encourage you to install it on your phone. So you, it's, it's an app, you can have it on your phone, but if you don't want to use your phone during the conference because you're at home on your laptop, so you can go also to the website that is here. We have exactly the same information as in that. If you have any problem, normally all of you who are here today should have access to Uva. If that's not the case, please shoot me an email and I will I will try to figure out what was wrong. Usually it would be the wrong email address or something. Um, then if for some reason you don't want to use Uva or you or you want to have like something that is more more compact with less bells and whistles to simply see where you want to go next. No problem, we, have, we, have, we are here for you. We have compiled a list kind of a cheat sheet that you can use with all the links to never be lost. So at any time, normally, you know where you have to go, where, depending on where you want to be. So don't hesitate to use it. Um, there is a version, get a version of it on your device for quick access. It's really there for them. And finally, so you have all seen, I'm sure, the, the main website, but we also have a. Um, another website uh, that is part of the main website. And so if for some reason you really care about your privacy or don't want to be harassed by all our messages from Uber, then please <laughs> uh, use the, does that mean that you won't be able to follow the conference? Absolutely not. We have another website here where you have basically the same information, just more simple with mini conf, the lighter website and we got you covered. So please, uh, even if you love Uva, you give a look to that website because there are also some interesting things. Like we have a cool visualization of paper proximity using embeddings. So just for that, I think you should all go get a look to this website and see which work are close from yours maybe. And now to conclude this first part, I will let Sherry and Sharon tell you a little bit about the statistics of the paper that we are submitted this year to EDM. Sharon, would you like to take over? Like at the uh, beginning, then I uh, you, yeah, you go first. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, very exciting. We have received 184 full and short papers this year. We had um, lots of uh, also posters, um, industry, DC, all of those. But I'm just going to tell you about full and short uh, for now. We had also six exciting workshops that has happened already yesterday. Among these 100 full paper submissions, we had 22% accepted as full. It was a very high competition. And so these 22% are like creme de la creme of the whole submissions. Uh, make sure to attend those. 
also, we had 25% accepted as short. So they were also valuable to the community. We would like to see all of that. And we, we just didn't have the space for that. So 25% are accepted as short and 16%, which makes 16, are accepted as posters. All of them very nice papers. 84 short paper submissions, 23% were accepted as short and 23% were accepted as poster. And Next, so uh, we looked at number of submissions per author. Usually the authors had submitted one paper or two papers at most, but uh, we had some uh, authors who had submitted more. We had one author who had submitted 10 papers, which is really amazing. So um, you can maybe increase the number of submissions if you have <laughs> any. Next. And a number of authors per submission. So um, you can see the histogram here. Most of the submissions had between two and um, three authors. Uh, I would say, yeah, but this also includes like all the submissions. So if you see like 10 authors, it could be from a workshop or it could be um, from a full paper or a short paper also. Next. Thank you. And the submissions, they are from 36 countries. I mean, the authors uh, in general are from 36 countries. You can see that we are all over the globe. We have um, representatives from all the continents, which is great. Um, well, one thing, the I, yeah. One, sorry, one thing I like to add, uh, you know, the complexity to add it to this year's uh, EDM is try to schedule all these different time zones into the sessions. So this is something that we didn't anticipate it uh, when we were organized, when we were thinking about putting all those presentations into the program. So uh, this is something that I hoped uh, that you also see the, the time, the efforts, the team to put into this to not overlapping uh, across sessions for the presentation. And again, this is 30, uh, 36 countries across the globe. Uh, it's such a huge uh, achievement uh, to uh, the EDM community. Yeah, this is great. And um, you will excuse us if we are a little bit on the edge of your time zone when you have a presentation, because it was very complex. Of course, the uh, submissions were not, like the distribution was not as uh, you know uniform. Uh, we hope to get it more and more uniform, of course. Uh, close to 50% of the authors were from the United States. Then we had uh, Germany, Canada, Jap Japan after that. But we are very excited that we had submissions from a list of other countries like Ecuador, Russia, Philippines, Pakistan, New Zealand, UAE, New Caledonia, Lebanon, and all of these countries. So this is very exciting to see submissions from these countries and we hope to get more um, in the next EVMs. So let's go and see what are the acceptances from all of these countries. Yay, so in this chart, <laughs> you see um, the acceptance rate uh, compared to the number of submissions. And we can see that um, Ecuador, UAE, New Caledonia and Burkina Faso, they did really well. They had like 100% acceptance per author, uh, which is good. And then we have some uh, other kinds of distributions going on. So yes, to these countries and we hope the other set of countries also get um, accepted. Now, if we look at the keywords, um, just uh, looking at what people have been submitting uh, to EDM this year, uh, the keywords are arranged according, to, uh, so the larger they are, the more frequent they have been in the submission. So we have a big knowledge tracing and machine learning. We have uh, somewhat a big uh, neural network um, and data mining. Uh, but um, what about the acceptance? So among all of these submissions, which keywords were the ones that accepted most? Okay, so we see a little bit of a different distribution here. So the neural networks, um, data mining, knowledge tracing are not that big anymore. They are there, of course, 
but we have a big causal inference, we have curricular pattern, we have topic transition, sequential pattern, and hidden Markov models as, uh, and computational linguistics. So um, you can see that the, these, like some of these are hot topics, they are catching up, and uh, we hope to see all different kinds of topics also presented in EDM. Um, we do have a code of conduct. You can see the link here. So uh, this is, uh, we inherited from last year EDM, thanks to um, uh, last year program chairs, Anna. And um, yeah, so we would encourage you to read it and follow it. Uh, and if you see any kind of misbehavior, you can easily report to me and to Sharon. And um, yeah, there's no judgment. So please do so if you feel uncomfortable at any point. Um, now, awards. Okay. So we have a set of best full paper nominees. Sharon, do you want to announce them? <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, so there are four best full paper nominees and they have been scheduled across all three days. And these are the, the orange words are the sessions and the time. So this will be uh, uh, indications uh, where you, sh you could, uh, and not just to advertise all these uh, nominees uh, papers, there will be special awards uh, uh, throughout this conference, such as the presentation. So later, uh, uh, Sherry, will, Sherry or uh, Joe uh, will talk about uh, where should you, uh, where uh, would you get the resources, the link to vote for the best presentation. So for the best full paper, uh, there are four of those. Um, um, I'm not going to read the titles. You can read it, uh, you can see it here. And would you go to the next slides? There are also four best short paper nominees across uh, all the sessions throughout these three days. So I really encourage you to utilize the Hoover to bookmark, uh, not only the, uh, to schedule your agenda, not only your own presentations, to explore other different sessions of talks. And if you don't know where to begin, perhaps at least uh, bookmark these all eight uh, exciting papers. And finally, the awards would be uh, announced at the uh, closing session. And just as I briefly mentioned, we got two uh, awards will be selected by you, all of us the best paper presentations and best poster presentation. So you have the chance to champion uh, you know, the, the best work out there wow. that you discover throughout the conference. So don't forget to vote. And this link will be shared uh, through social media, through Hoover, and also on uh, the EDM uh, 2021 website. So make sure you bookmark all those link and cast your sacred vote at the end of the conference and results will be announced uh, during the closing. Thank you, next. Uh, yeah, so, so for today, uh, we'll have a, so here are the program highlights. So we'll have a sponsor talk right after the session A1 that will be in this room uh, by Direction du Numérique pour l'Education, which is our platinum sponsor. And then at 5 p.m., don't miss it, there will be a live music concert in the town. And right after, a keynote that will be back in this room, in the room of uh, Christina Konatia, the first keynote. And tonight, there will be the poster session one. And again, I told you, the poster map will be available soon. But basically, like uh, the coordinates of the poster will be, will be the ID of the poster. Okay. And I will, yeah, I'm taking over for the next two days. Uh, so on Thursday, two main events to keep in mind. Uh, first, the second keynote of EDM that will be given by Sine Di Melo. We'll talk about groups and multimodality. And at the end of the day, we will have our special panel that we really recommend you attend to in order to talk about diversity, equity, inclusion. Uh, it will be a great moment for us to brainstorm together. So there, there are panelists, but it's really everyone who can have their say in the discussions already. Do not miss this panel. 
and uh, take a little bit of time before to fill the form that has been sent or will be sent again um, to prepare that session. It's really, really helpful. Next on uh, Friday, we will have uh, the second poster session. So same principle as today, it will be on Gather Town, the different room, be careful, there are two rooms for the posters. And, uh, and then for those of you who may have jumped too quickly from their bed to go to Gather Town and to see the posters, you, and you may crave for a special breakfast after that. So we wish we could feed you with all the amazing French bakeries. But since we can't, we figured out that the best thing we could do for you is to help you to make your own. So during our cut party, we will have a special lesson from a French American author of several books on bakery. Uh, we will teach you the best recipe to make French crepes and uh, we'll guide you. So it's actually a two part event. We here we have put only the first part, but before you will do the preparation of the dough and as it rests, we will, we will enjoy the, the last keynote from Pierre. We're going to talk about classroom as a system. <laughs> And then after, between, uh, between the keynote from Pierre and the test of time award from Cristobal, we will have the cooking of the crepe so that hopefully by the time the test of time award arrives, you will be well fed with your own crepes at home and you will be enjoy to, able to enjoy the test of time award. So for those who do not know what it is, it is um, Cristobal has won the test of time award last year and it rewards authors of an article that was published 10 years ago or more that is considered particularly influential for the EDM community. So this year there will be a new winner. Uh, and, and this year it's Cristobal who will present the, his original work, but also how it is still relevant today. And finally, as the best moment of to end, we will join one last time on Friday uh, to close this conference, but not before having given the awards to the best paper, poster and presentation that Sharon and Sherry told you about. So oh yes, uh, again, don't miss the live concert today uh, at 5 p.m. Uh, if you have time, please try to connect on Get the Town. Um, so th this would, because it will be given on Get the Town and not on Zoom. Okay, may maybe the next slide. Um, so again, EDM is a really nice community. Uh, with uh, So don't feel free to talk to anyone, uh, especially on Get the Town. Uh, don't be afraid by uh, senior professors. Um, we strongly encourage you to take the most uh, of the, the social activities to, uh, to make a new uh, acquaintances or friends. So for the credit part, party, uh, we will provide the requirement, but of course there is Python 3.8 because I, I, it's so obvious and I shouldn't even write it. But um, also you, you can buy uh, flour, milk and eggs. Basically that will be uh, all, all you need. Okay. Um, so uh, it's okay for me, so I will just uh, drop the baguette and uh, I, I can provide the link uh, if uh, you just want to ask your questions uh, while we have uh, just uh, two minutes so, so that you can uh, familiarize yourself with uh, SpeakUp, which is a tool we, that we, we want to use for questions. Otherwise, uh, see you in two minutes uh, for um, please go to your um, to your track. Uh, I can uh, just uh, give um, uh, just uh, an example. Um, okay. And maybe we can use those two minutes while people ask questions and familiarize themselves yes. with speak up. I think Ken can also, as the president of IEDMS, can also have a word to welcome everyone for this session. Ken, if you want to. Oh, yes, great. Uh, <clears throat> this is Ken Katinger. Welcome, everybody. Glad you're all here. Looking forward to a great conference. Um, we'll have some announcements in the closing session of the next Test of Time Award, some board member uh, changes, and the new president of uh, the society, and also the location for EDM 2022. So have a great conference and uh, learn a lot from each other. You can, and so we are perfectly on time. So now we all have one minute to go to our next home. So some of you will stay in this room. I will close the room when and I start it immediately. So those of you who want to be in A1, the room will be restarted in a minute. So you will be kicked out, but please join back. And if people want to go to A2, A3, A3 you have the link. Now you have understood where to find them. So again, welcome everyone and enjoy EDM 2021.